Well, I would say today's budget is uh, not only growth oriented, but has also focused on the inclusive growth uh, uh, agenda of uh, the Prime Minister Modi. Uh, this will help the middle class uh, to a great extent, especially on the relief in the tax uh, slaps which have been given. Uh, that will be uh, something which I think is a huge positive for a middle, middle class family and middle class persons. And also for the senior citizens and uh, women जो उन्होंने स्पेशल लिमिट्स बढ़ाई हैं और जो विमेन और गर्ल्स के लिए दो लाख का एक लिमिट करके यहाँ साढ़े सात परसेंट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट मिलेगा फिक्स फॉर टू ईयर डिपॉजिट आई थिंक दीज आर सम वेरी वेरी पॉजिटिव एंड गुड स्टेप्स आल्सो आई वुड से ह्यूज फोकस ऑन टूरिज्म व्हिच आई बिलीव विल नॉट ओनली क्रिएट एंड अप क्रिएटिंग जॉब्स बट ऑल्सो ह्यूज फोकस ऑन स्किलिंग इन द टूरिज्म सेक्टर बट मोर इम्पॉर्टेंटली टूरिज्म इन द डोमेस्टिक सेक्टर आई थिंक दैट इज समथिंग विच इज अ ग्रेट फोकस विच आई सॉ टूडे एंड दिस विल नॉट ओनली हेल्प इन क्रिएटिंग बेटर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर आई ऑल्सो बिलीव दैट विद ऑल द इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन द पास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स गॉन इन टू द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सिग्निफिकेंटली will also boost religious tourism in the country so i see this budget to be a budget which is a very visionary budget which really lays down a budget for our road map or a vision for the next 25 years the amrit kal so to say because it really focus on many areas like ease of living and that's a very important point because uh, we see the budget to be strongly focused on that second of course this entire uh, boost that uh, the investment demand will get with a continued focus on capex the government has led from the front and done the heavy lifting uh, on investment through capex and i think that is going to trigger further investments from the private sector crowding in investment from the private sector third consumption demand i i with the changes in the income tax that we see is going to be phenomenal uh, in both in terms of sentiments as well as boosting the consumption demand uh, which was very much required as india is a consumption led economy next if you see the focus that the budget has given on the rural side on the rural economy and also the urban rejuvenation and pla urban planning is just shows that the, there is an all round thinking in the government in seeing to it that how we can uh, really uh, take the country all along i mean it talked about north east it talked about uh, uh, focus on uh, less developed areas too uh, i lastly i would like to say it was just very very important uh, uh, that the country focuses on sustainability and uh, in the budget we see both sustainability as a big big focus as well as r and d and technology so these are, uh, that makes the budget a budget for everyone and a budget with a strong vision for growth and balanced uh, balanced development it's a very good growth oriented budget uh, continuing all the good work of the previous budgets but focusing on making sure that the areas which had had issues and support was required has happened i think the support to the states to further improve the urban body support is also very welcome so it's an excellent budget very growth oriented i think there have been uh, i would say focus to make sure all sectors where there have been problems coming out of covid as well as from an individual aspect has been covered in that i think uh, it's a great budget in terms of uh, growth uh, it's a very growth oriented budget uh, there's a lot of talk of infrastructure uh, spending there's a lot of talk about green growth uh, the finance minister began her speech talking about youth and women uh, a lot of job creation infrastructure creation and development uh, so definitely a positive budget uh, you know with the reduction of income tax at the lower level will definitely have uh, people have more Uh, money in their hands for consumption so i think it's a it's a positive budget no i think this has been a great budget especially for the common people you know uh, for the common man because if you see it it's very holistic right i think if you see the personal income tax of course is i think the biggest advantage where we saw there is a more spending power in the hands of the young people or of the common man and that will encourage and spur growth right i think that is one very important point i think second is you know the agriculture focus that we heard you know the digital stack there the ability to create entrepreneurship there so you know rural india not only being job seekers but actually becoming job creators a large fund being you know allocated towards innovation is also a very strong thing i think these digital stacks that are going on going up are more important than the common man i think is the young man of or young person of india because you know it's one in 10 people in the world is an indian under the age of 25 and the gen z as they call it you know people born from 1995 are going to be the biggest consumers and producers in the next 10 to 25 years so i think 
the finance minister's view of a 25 year view the seven priority areas i think all align very well digital youth rural you know more spending power has all going to spur growth in the right direction so i am i'm very hopeful that this budget will lead to a you know a, a better outcome when it comes to growth from here on i think this budget is hugely beneficial for everybody it takes care of the common person the income tax rates have been revised there to the benefit of the common person um that will increase consumption in addition to that that will increase therefore the manufacturing there is focus on a green economy there is focus on battery energy systems there is focus on the railways on infrastructure 10 lakh crores has been uh, allocated for infrastructure that will create jobs there have been allocations for small and medium enterprises it will create jobs for them there have been support to small and medium enterprises and it will help them grow so overall i think there is an all inclusive budget over here something for everybody i think it is very good for the common person um as the infrastructure improves uh it will become easier for them to move around the country um as the expenditure in railways moves they will be able to be transported faster much more efficiently um they will be able to live in a greener society the reduction in income tax rates will help them spend more and save more and spend more so there will be a benefit uh, here for everybody it's a great balance it's a balanced budget and i think it is it, it is a good good budget for the youth like you also and for the old people also for women also and i think most important the budget has have something for everybody and so so i am saying it is a good budget and i think now we have to take the full opportunity which have been created by the various funds and the schemes to take this further if you ask me the middle class will get more money in their hand they'll spend on more products like ours so definitely they'll benefit